how can one get connected to one's inner voice and totally be oneself? How can one be their authentic self to an extent that there is no influence of society, people or past? Let us begin with Osho's words. He says, nobody can be like you. You are absolutely unique. There has never been anyone exactly like you and there never will be. Celebrate your uniqueness. Now, in a way, recognizing your uniqueness was Osho's core message in all the hundreds of books, the wide range of topics he's spoken on, if you can identify a central thread connecting all his teachings, it has to be helping an individual to connect with their uniqueness. Now, why is it important to recognize your uniqueness? Because there is no one like you. If you were not meant to be unique, then there is no reason for you to be unique. There is no reason for so much of uniqueness. You are unique in form. You are unique in your thoughts. You are unique in your actions. You are unique in every which way possible. In fact, it takes great effort to make you like someone else. And that effort is what we call formal education. It takes years to make you just like someone else. What is the purpose of formal education? It is not to make you more unique. It is to make you more understandable. It is to make you more like the model through which you are being viewed. Depending on what you're studying, depending on why you're studying, you only have to fit in to that image, that framework. There is no way for formal education to teach you how to be unique because they don't know you. Nobody knows you. And nobody can know you. When it is impossible for someone else to identify your uniqueness, to see it for all its vibrancy, how can you expect them to understand you? How can you expect them to see you for who you are? And if you drop your uniqueness, if you drop your individuality, then you're dropping the only thing through which you can assert that you are. Without your individuality, 
you are just like everybody else. Without recognizing your uniqueness, you are literally a nobody. You only have a body. But what's inside is simply a collection of ideas from here and there. A jumbled mess. There is no one coherent you. Now reflect on those moments when you were lost. Lost in anger, lost in fear, lost in a desire. Now where were you in those moments? You were nowhere there. You were simply a reflection of what was happening within you in that moment. Now that is the world that is inside you. That is not you. If that were to be you, then there is no way for you not to be frustrated, not to be angry, not to be disappointed all the time. Because you are you, there is a unique you independent of all your thoughts, independent of all your actions, independent of people's judgments and opinions, you can find refuge there. You can come back to it. Ultimately, it is your uniqueness that is your destination, which is your home, which is the place where you can rest. The farther you move away from your individuality, the more chaotic life becomes, more confusing things become to a point where life would be totally meaningless. You would not know why you are here. You would not know the meaning of the present, the meaning of your past, the meaning of your future. They will all be a jumbled mess. Recognizing your uniqueness is the first step in anchoring yourself to the present moment. It's because Uniqueness is your very nature when you come back to the present moment, when you reflect on who you are, when you reflect on the meaning and purpose of life, the answer you get is always unique. You will never find an answer that is an exact replica of an answer somebody else has found. Irrespective of your influences from the outside, irrespective of how lost you are, when you come to the present moment and ask the question, who am I? The answer is always unique. The answer has to be something that can complete you. Now that is how you know if your answer is genuine or not. That is how you know if your voice is authentic or not. That is how you know if you're listening to your inner voice or simply your mind. Because if the answer is coming from your mind, you can always trace the source somewhere outside. You can pinpoint and say, this is where it is coming from. It is coming from an outside source because I have been thinking about it. I have been contemplating on it. I have spent my life 
building my self image on that that artificial source which is outside me so every time the mind speaks to you it speaks from the outside it always tries to compare you to something or someone the mind can never see your uniqueness it only sees what is missing in you when compared to the things on the outside because that is how the mind is trying to push you to bridge the gap you are not yet like someone you have not yet become this you are not rich enough you're not intelligent enough you're not capable enough now how does the mind know that you're not intelligent that there is something missing without comparing without comparison there is no way to make a judgment on who you are and because there is a constant judgment going on you can safely assume that there is a constant comparison going on as long as the voice is talking about you in relation to something outside you can be sure that that is not your your true voice